You're live with BBC News. Let's take you to China now because the French President Emmanuel Macron and the head of the European Commission, Ursula von der Leyen, are on a three-day trip there in hopes of resetting relations. We have some uh, live pictures coming to us, actually. This is President Macron speaking earlier, but uh, there are some pictures uh, that we're going to bring you in a moment uh, after we've heard from him. He is travelling with a 50-strong business delegation and on the agenda for the trip is talks around Ukraine as Beijing's refusal to condemn Russia over its invasion of Ukraine has really soured relations with Europe. In his speech, Mr Macron warned that Europe must not separate from China economically. We must not be naive. Our European Union taking this step of European sovereignty that I defended five years ago is establishing trade defense instruments that are necessary for our credibility. But the EU must also be voluntarily committed to continuing to have a trade relationship with China. And so we must, in a way, de-risk our economies, never be fully dependent. And this is what China wants for itself when dealing with Europe and the United States. But we must not dissociate ourselves and separate ourselves in a logic that would, in a way, suggest that ultimately we are meant to do nothing together anymore. So, as I mentioned, he's travelling with a 50-strong delegation and he is with some of them right now. These are live pictures coming to us from Beijing, where that is the back of President Macron, but he is opening Crossroads, which is a festival at the Modern Art Red Brick Museum in Beijing. You can see him now just enjoying uh, the exhibition, the festival as well, and the things that are happening there. A significant visit really because these close links that uh, exist could mean that uh, President Macron could be influential in uh, helping Xi Jinping end the war in Ukraine. That was the suggestion today. Uh, Mr. Macron did say that any nation supporting Russia would be an accomplice to Moscow's aggression. And we've uh, actually seen a constant stream of rhetoric coming from many Western countries trying to tell China do not supply weapons uh, to Russia. So the talks, we think there will be uh, conversations, of course, about the war in Ukraine, but also trade very much dominating the agenda as well. Uh, he spoke earlier, we played you that clip from President Macron uh, as he addressed people a little earlier and our Asia-Pacific editor Celia Hatton gave us her thoughts on what he had to say. Little surprised. I mean, I expected him to really underline the needs to continue working with China's economy. Uh, of course, he's got this massive business delegation with him. Uh, just before uh, Mr. Macron traveled to China, uh, China and France announced a huge natural gas deal. We're also expecting big deals uh, uh, from the uh, EDF, uh, the energy giant, French energy giant, also a potentially huge Airbus uh, airplane deal. So we knew that was coming down the pipeline. But when Mr. Macron says, look, we still need to de-risk, which is echoing the language that we heard from Ursula von der Leyen in a speech she gave last work week, where she called on members of the EU to be bolder with China. She said they need to de-risk, meaning they need to limit China's access to sensitive technologies, even though they're going to continue through uh, with economic trade. And so, yes, he's, he's emphasizing what Ursula von der Leyen said, but he said at the same time, we cannot decouple. We need to continue building our, on our economic ties as well. So I think that's going to really be the message we're going to be hearing from Mr. Macron going forward. So that's President Macron's message. What what do you think Xi Jinping is hoping to get out of this visit? Well, Xi Jinping has a lot going on, really. First, of course, he needs to revive China's economy. It really is still struggling after years of very, very difficult COVID restrictions. And so he's under a lot of pressure domestically to bring down unemployment, to get those factories working again, and to get supply chains going again. However, he also really would like to build a bit of a wedge between the EU and the United States. China-US relations are really at a low point at the moment. And so there have been thoughts, especially coming from the White House, private thoughts from the Biden administration, they weren't too thrilled that Macron was making such a high-profile, lengthy visit to China. He'll be there for three days. He'll spend quite a lot of private time with Xi Jinping. However, just before Emmanuel Macron traveled to uh, Beijing, 
he had a phone call with Joe Biden where they both agreed that China could play a very key role in resolving uh, the war in Ukraine. And so they decided that they've issued a joint statement saying that that's really what they would like to do. They would like to find an accelerated negotiated settlement uh, to that war in Ukraine. So he'll be looking to really act as a global statesman there, Celia. But in terms of other areas that are going to be under discussion over the next few days, yes, there's those trade deals, but what other avenues could there be that they all might agree on? Mm, there's a few things that are on the agenda that I think that they might be able to start off with. First, uh, climate change. You know, both France and Beijing uh, have discussed these issues before. They both want to work towards uh, the new uh, COP27 goals, and so that really is key. They're both really interested in renewable energy. Lots of uh, discussion over wind power, solar power, that kind of thing. Uh, I think also they're both focused on the global food supply. Both countries have uh, experience uh, expressed concern over threats to the global food supply and the health of supply chains in general until we can really get supply chains moving again uh, post COVID uh, I think it's really going to affect everybody's economy and so that's really what I think the two men will be able to find some common ground on